Hello world, it's Nexus again, and we're going to be doing a Noble Death. Um, that is what it is called there. However, the actual name of the delish, the actual name of the mission is the Death of Lady Glider. This entire briefing is in German. I am not sure where the English version is or why I don't have it, but it doesn't actually matter because everything in game is still in English. Um, so I went ahead and just you know put it into Google Translate, translated, made by Ben Meadows, also known as Ishi. It was translated by Oliver Cooley, and he's got his uh, contact information there. Um, it was made on the 4th of June. So the 11th is, along with that one, is when it was uploaded to Comac, I think. I'm not sure where it was uploaded before that, so I have no idea. Um, the description, since I don't speak a word of German, a mission style murder or Lord Bafford. Go on the roof of a noblewoman and kill them. Includes books, more mission objectives in the higher difficulty levels, etc. New in version 1.1, the mission is now compatible with Thief Loader in addition to installation and improved now with Thief Mod possible. Also new is the German version. So. I don't know why the German version is the only one I've got. Uh, I can't really help you there. Um, nothing special here. Just the Dark Project. More German. Difficulty levels. Construction. It's not based on anything. There we go. Uh, this part, which I will read. Someone has put Cuddy that he gladly would take my services to get rid of an enemy. Something is not really my thing, and normally I would have let him cancel by Cuddy, but he gives me a very handsome payment. Uh, the reason why it's such broken English is because I'm, you know, translating through a program and not actually having the English version proper. Um, so the property is Lady Catherine Glider, one of the noble one of the richer nobles of whom I have heard. Fortunately, she spends most of her time in her house in her townhouse in the northwest. To my bad luck in this neighborhood, a curfew is from evening until dawn, and all the doors remain closed. I will take the time to beat in a side street around the ears, and at night I cannot finish the deed. Then it's back to the road and wait for the morning. Well, Cuddy says Glider has plenty of money, but probably not for long. The townhouse has three floors. The, guards, the guard room is on the ground floor. On the second floor are the guest rooms and a reception hall. Glider's private quarters are on the top floor. So your mission objectives. Kill her, steal some gold, go back to the street. And the gold changes with different difficulty. And you have an extra objective to steal a golden skull uh, at, if you're on expert, which we will be. So I will see you guys on the other side. Okay. Here we are on normal, we have hard, and experts. So <laughs> apparently the skull of Glider is worth a sandwich. So she's got an armory and we're going to rob it. I will say we are allowed to kill people, but you know, try not to. Don't know what it was. <laughs> Hello? Show yourself. Hello? Anyone there? If you guys have noticed, but uh, it's a pretty big building for being so small. By which I mean only three floors, and yet it's astoundingly tall. Um, we're not actually going through these doors because those are marble floors, and I don't want to deal with it. This guy in there, we're gonna just ignore him too. Did that 
that shadow move? Gotta stop jumping at nothing. Is that you? Oof. So, just for the record, if you set the body down outside that door, he'll see it. Um, so don't do that. So I guess I should discuss why this got Hello? an 8 from me. Is someone there? The first time I played it. <laughs> oh well. Didn't didn't actually expect that. I don't know what. I'm... I played all these missions in order. Um, I played a few out of order, but for the most part, once I realized there was a full, you know, 8 DVD set of fan missions, I just sort of went through them in order and gave it my own little rating for fun. Um, so a mission can be really well made, but if my rating is low, it's probably that it wasn't very fun. So this got an 8 because I was really new to, you know, the whole concept of fan missions. I hadn't played many that, you know, really were special. Um, I'm not actually sure, like, I think, um, Gathering at the Bar got such a low one from me just because it was so frustrating uh, the first time I played through it. This one got a high one because it was... Uh, I wasn't focusing on it being well made or poorly made or any of that. Um, I was just focusing on, oh yeah, okay, I get to sneak into this building and do stuff. You know, the guards aren't overly twitchy, I'm not having to deal with running from everybody and I get plenty of supplies. Um, I mean, a lot of supplies. So, it got an 8. And I, at this point, I'm not willing to change those ratings, because that was how I felt when I first played it. And that matters. And so long as I keep in mind that that was how I played um, when I first played it, I'm fine with the rating being 8, even though I don't necessarily agree with that anymore. Um, I would say that if I had rated this now, I would put this at a 5 or 6, and I feel that's unnecessarily harsh for not keeping in mind when it was made and all that stuff. <laughs> Is it just me, or did something move? I'll find you! Damn it! We are actually going to try and knock these guys out if I can get in here without being seen. Which I don't think I can because there's just too much light. Um, this is kind of the problem with this mission. It, it's not bad, but I, like I said in previous things, I've been spoiled by good ones enough that I can't, I can't properly um, appreciate certain things anymore. Like, I can't appreciate that this was pretty good for being so first. Um, it doesn't excuse it, but it it's a difficult subject to talk about because I don't want to come across as being, you know, a total bitch and I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining because I'm not. It's decent, even by today's standards, but it has some glaring issues. Part of that is just is the layout. Help. Um, Help. Part of that is stuff like this, where you can't sneak in here at all. And while I do not, um, I do not typically, you know, ghost things. I like the option available to do so. So it sort of bothers me when a mission doesn't. 
And if you notice on the last one, which I'll probably talk about more here because I have more room to talk about it. I mean, the one I just played, Deceptive Scepter, I have some issues with. I have a lot of issues with it, but I'll grant it that I gave it a three because it was new and I didn't Why feel like play? giving Must something a right. one when I sort of enjoyed it. I don't even know that there's anything in there that I need, so I'm just gonna gas them and go. You hear that? Seems a waste, but I don't really care. Yeah, there's nothing in here. I probably should have just uh, left them alone, but oh well. Um, so anyway, like I was saying with Deceptive Scepter, it was poorly made in that it was, it had nothing of value. Who's to there? It, really. A lot. Is someone there? What's going on? I mean, I don't just want to declare that something is terrible, but it only took me two minutes to finish it. Um, and to furthermore explain, like this, there's no, there's no punishment for killing people, which kind of tells me that authors, the, the author of the mission, didn't bother to test it enough to make sure that you could do it without killing people. And I don't know about you, but that's kind of important because one of the things about Thief is that you're not really supposed to be killing people. Um, you're a thief. You steal stuff. You don't just murder people. But, you know, that's just how they made it, and I can't fault them for it necessarily just because they hadn't thought to do it. I can fault them for a little bit of laziness um, in certain things, such as my best example, which is that the torches on the first floor were really low to the ground. And, um, they were, you know, really, really low to the ground. Uh, e even this, like, the room just seems too small. The ceiling is too low. I, I don't really want to complain about it, but it's a fact. And it's not... It's definitely nowhere near up to what the original mission was. And that's kind of what I feel fan missions should be trying to do, is to sort of emulate the way the original missions worked, for better or for worse. What's but, that? Who goes? Uh, I mean, some people surpass it, and that's awesome. That's but then, then you have stuff like Deceptive Scepter, where it's just a straight line, and you can't sneak at all because not only is it too bright, but there's no there's no possibility of you even sneaking. I mean, that's something that the community definitely, uh, definitely worked through after probably a few months. I'm not really sure, honestly, but it's, it's something that's sort of in the goal, like I said, the ghosting part. Uh, people have been ghosting on, uh, you know, the original missions for a while, but it took them a bit to get there, and it took them a bit to get fan missions up to the standard where the author would actually be able to check if, they, if you know, someone could do that, but they'd test their mission before releasing it. Um, so now we have Door. Yeah, I'm just gonna be stuck on this door. Hey, what's that sound? He's there right we here! <clears throat> we do have to murder her, but that can wait a moment. So, 
we get some stuff, some more stuff. And this is something that I like, is that, you know, this one actually had some readables and stuff that's actually, I don't know, interesting. Like, I, I didn't play the original Thief and love it so much because it was just stealing stuff. I also liked it because it had a nice story. And that's also something to consider, is that not everyone manages to do that proper. Or, not even just proper, but just at all. I don't know, it's, it's hard to complain about something so old without coming across as unreasonable. And I'm trying not to complain about it in particular, but I kind of am at the same time, so... It comes across being kind of weird. Really what I'm trying to do is just say, this is how I want to outline when I do missions, is keep in mind that it was much older than now, and things have changed. But that it's not necessarily exempt from criticism just because it's almost 15 years old. And that's kind of, you know, how I really feel about doing these fan missions for Comag that are so old. It's just, Who's just there? because it's so old doesn't there? make it exempt from criticism. That's legitimate criticism. But then again, you know, I have to not be unreasonable in my expectations of something. So, it's kind of just a delicate balance of, you know, keeping reasonable expectations for the time period. Keeping in mind my level um, of thievery, I suppose. I'm, I'm not saying I'm a fantastic thief. I'm actually sort of average. Um, I'm pretty bad at ghosting. And I don't really like to do it, honestly. Um, I really hate being forced to ghost, but I enjoy the concept of the challenge. So I like to acknowledge that there are people out there who can't play the game without doing that challenge for themselves. And that's fine. So, I, I don't know. It's, it's difficult to get my words down because I don't use a script, but... <laughs> it's just sort of one of those things where I have to compromise and be willing to, you know, accept that not everything is perfect, which, duh. Okay, she said, so we can just you know, go ahead and leave, but... I don't know, the fact that I've had to kill people here kind of annoys me uh, quite a bit. Just because it's just something I hate having to do, but at the same time, uh, I'm not willing to... I'm not willing to just say, oh, I, I shouldn't kill people just because, because I can't. I'm allowed to. But at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed that I feel like I have to, because it's so just packed in and there's no time between patrols really anyway uh got all the loot total time less than 15 minutes uh that's not unexpected it wasn't a very big mission um so i will see you guys next time